Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to host a Minecraft server locally and publicly and this is the best way in 2025 that I've found to do this pro project. I'm going to be doing mine on my physical server. I'm going to set up a virtual machine with a Linux server and run the Minecraft server from that. If you don't have a server or, or a old PC to turn into a server, you can theoretically to set up a virtual machine on VirtualBox and do it from there. The only problem with that is it's going to cause your computer to use more resources, which means it's going to run a lot harder, which means the game's probably the best experience. So if you have a server or an old PC, I recommend installing Proxmox on that. And then from there, we'll create a virtual machine and then we'll install the Minecraft server. Before we get installed in the Minecraft server, I just want to show you guys how to get your IP information and network information on your Linux server. So to do that, if you haven't installed it already, go sudo apt install install net-tools tools hit enter and it's going to install the net, net tools package and then once that is installed you will be able to go ifconfig, click enter, and then all your IP information will come up. That's the most easiest way I can think of how to do it. And if you want to become the root of the server, so you use sudo to ask for permission to do whatever to the server, like that. sudo, and then whatever you're trying to do. Now, once you're the root, you don't ha don't have to ask permission. So to change into the root, just go sudo and go su, hit enter, and you will become root of the server. All right. So once your virtual machine is set up on Proxmox or VirtualBox or wherever you're going to install this Linux server, once that is done, we go into open up command prompt. Same thing, and we are going to ssh into the server because it's just, there is a command for it, but I can't remember exactly to copy and paste on Proxmox, but it's just easier to SSH into the server and copy and paste that way. Because if you installed Linux server straight onto your physical machine, you're gonna have to SSH into it anyway to copy and paste commands unless you, unless you wanna type out word for word the command. So we be better off just to SSH into it anyway, so we can learn and understand how it works and what we're doing. SSH into the server, we go SSH. And then we're gonna type in our server name. So whatever you name your server, Home Lab Network, Networks for me. And then we're getting it at, and then type in your server IP address, which will be the one here when you go IF config. So for me, it's 192.168.1.114. And then we're going to type in yes. And type in your server's password. Right, now we're into the server. So this here is pretty much what we see here. The only difference is we can copy and paste commands, essentially. So we're going to install a program called AMP from Cube Coders. So I'll have this link in the description, but what we want to do is go to get started, install AMP. We're going to click on Ubuntu live server because that's what we installed. And then we're going to copy this bash command here. So copy, go back to CMD, be the root in the server. So we're going to go sudo su, put your password in. Right now, now we're the root. After we do that, we're going to right click and click enter to create a an account. So pick a username, I'm going to stick to Home Lab Networks. And this will be the account we log in with with AMP once we have that self hosted. So Home Lab Networks and then create a password and then confirm it. And we can install Docker doing this. So you, you can if you want to, but I'm going to say no for the meantime. Where are we going to be running Minecraft servers on this? Absolutely we are. So we need to install Java. So say Y for yes. Will you be running applications that rely on Steam CMD? 
Now, whatever we say no to here, we can say yes to later on in the future if we want to. So for the point of this video, I'm going to say no. Enable HTTPS, I'm going to say no because I'm going to be running this locally. Alright, this is an installation summary. If you are happy with that, press enter and AMP is going to install on your Linux server. This can take some time, so just be patient with it. And I'll see you guys once the installation has been complete. And I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so once the AMP has installed, you're going to come to this line here, info slash 10, and it's going to say, waiting for your user to complete first time setup in, in the browser. Now, if you go back up to this line here, it says, please visit 127.0.1.1 port, uh, port 8080, or this second address here. Now, you'll notice those addresses, addresses are com completely wrong, and I'm not sure why they put these addresses here, because if you go to them, it's not going to work. So what we do, so just remember port 8080, easy to rem remember. So just minimize that, open up a new tab. And so here you're going to put in your IP address from your from your Linux server and then go colon slash 8080. You're going to be welcome with the home screen of AMP. So this here, the account we set up with the install on here. So whatever you put your username and password to be, that's what you that's what you use to log in to this program. So home lab net home lab networks for me. Can't spell. And type in your password. Right, so this is the first time setup page. So we're gonna click next. And now with this, you do have to purchase a license key. I live in Australia, so I paid about 16 bucks for one. Anywhere else in the world, it's about 10 bucks. All I purchase, I purchase this one, the standard edition. You can, can create five servers. And that doesn't mean five Minecraft servers. So that can be one Minecraft server. Because using AMP, there's a list of games and I, I will show you the games you can host servers with. But it's just a lot easier just to purchase a standard edition it's going to bear all license details now we're just doing a basic Minecraft server so we're just going to use the standalone i leave crash reports on but i'll turn these other two off now it's going to apply the configuration changes now it's going to want us to restart the amp so it's going to restart for the first time and once you see this on your um CMD, we can close it. We don't don't need it anymore. Again. Right, now the fun begins. So, create instance. This is where your servers are going to be. So you can have a Minecraft server, a Call of Duty server, so on and so forth. So click plus. Now these are all the games we can host servers with the loaded games on here. Just loads. I do want to do um, the old school um, Call of Duty server. I haven't tried that yet and I do want to try it. But for today, we are going to go Minecraft Java. So you've got Bedrock, Bedrock Edition Legacy, Bungie Cord, Java and Legacy. We're going to select Java. Give your server a name. I'm just going to call mine Minecraft server. And I, and I will show you guys how to do it with mods as well. Now, I always put on... It says after creation, update and start. Um, I don't select that. I select do nothing. Um, like update and start. For some reason, for me, it just like keeps looping. And then it it's not fun. And then you have to redo the server. So just do nothing. Because we can still update it via the command line anyway. So once that's done, click create instance. Wait until this icon here says idle before we do anything. That that's on idle, we can click on manage or Minecraft server near. So what we're going to do is click on configuration craft. So this is your memory for Minecraft. So I'm going to allocate four gigabytes, which is four nine 
4096. So I'm putting four gig gigabytes of memory into my server. You can put as much as you want. Oh, then this is message of the day. It's going to put in home lab networks. And then for the server type, so that means if it's going to be like vanilla, forge, fabric, this is where you change that. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go forge for a modded server. You can just leave it at default if you don't want any mods. And then this is going to be the forge version that you want to choose. So I'm going to pick 1.20.1. And then it will auto select the server jar. So we can just leave all this at, at default if you want to. This is the world seed. You can put a seed in here if you want to. World type. So default, super flat, biomes, the rest of it. I'm just going to leave one at default. A network. Now um, I don't touch anything here. Just leave it at all. Just leave it at default. Or you can just enable. Land visibility. The rest just leave alone. Where you can change the game mode, so creative, survival, spectator, whatever you want. The difficulty, animals, hardcore mode, allow, allow flight. I like to put a flight on when you you know trying to beat the wither storm. If that's not, if you have the wither storm and this is not act, um, activated, allow flight. The wither storm can't pick you up. Just so you know. Allow allow um command, command blocks. And that looks pretty good, good to me. Security, don't worry about that. Sleep mode. I always turn the sleep mode off. Because once sleep mode goes on, it's just a pain to whack the server back up and then connect. I like to have the server on all the time. Obviously, when I finish playing, I'll turn it off. But I just like to disable sleep mode. And we're going to start the server up for the first time. Accept the EULA. So the terms and conditions of the Minecraft server. Accept. Now... For some reason, I'm not sure why, but the, for the first startup of the server, it will fail. Once you click start again for the second time, it should work. I'm not too sure why it fails the first time. So while that's starting up, we're going to go to... I'm using Forge. If you, you can use Fabric or whatever mod loader you want. I just like Forge because I know it works. So I'm going to... Your Forge mod loader or Fabric or whatever you use. Download that and install it on your actual computer. These are both green, you port that is, so that means the server's going to work. So while that's loading, we're going to get a mod. And I'm going to do the Witherstorm mod just to show you. So what we're going to do, so we need to upload this to our server, so we're going to click on... So you need to make sure your game version on here is the same version, is the same mod loader version that you have on your server. I'm going to click download and then we're going to upload this to our server. You, you would normally just dip download your mod, open up run, type in percent update a percent, click OK. Once that opens up, you'll click on Minecraft, go down to your mods folder and just um, copy and paste your mod in there. Before we add mods to the server, I just want to show you guys that the server actually works. So we're going to go to connection info, copy and paste this address here. And you'll, you'll notice it's the same address that you used to log in here with Minecraft's port number. So open up your Minecraft, click on multiplayer, proceed. That's another server. I'm going to click on add server to give it, give it a server name. Paste that address in here. Done. And you'll see server's up and running. Join server. And now we have our very own Minecraft server on our local network. But we can't get, use commands. So we're going to make ourselves the operator of the server. So we're just going to disconnect from here. Go back to our a AMP. Click on console. So we're going to go OP. Type in the player's username. And now you'll see when we go back to the server. We're going to be able to use commands. Cool. So that's so the server 
is up and running and it works, which is the main thing. We're going to go back to this server. We're going to click stop and then we're going to make this a modded server. Go ahead, click on the file manager here. We're going to click on the mods folder here. Drag and drop. And it's going to upload the mod here. As I said, make sure this same mod is in your mods folder on your on your local computer because you need it on the server and on your computer to be able to play on the server. Once your server is running, go back to Minecraft, click on multiplayer, I'm going to add a server. So put in your server address again, add your server address. Exactly the same as before. With the port 25565, click done. Join server. Now we are in our modded server. Summon a wither storm. And then we put in this command. So that's how you can host a modded server in your home lab and your home network. And it's the best way I have come across to be able to do this. If you'd like, like this video, please consider giving it a like. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you like this type of content, please leave a comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.